All right, uh, we're back. I've turned my face cam on. I actually forgot to have it in the first episode. I, uh, I'm working on that the whole face cam thing. We'll see. We'll see if we stick with it. We'll see if we don't. I'm gonna have it for now. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. So, Blood Hunter hunts. Short exploration. Oh, so there's different chapters. So that's how it's handled. I like that. Okay, so we could go for the weapon. I. Supposedly start with an extra thousand gold. That's not a terrible idea. Just go more or less straight up and either grab the relic of the stats. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's see. It makes no difference to me, but can easily imagine it being amusing for people to see your reactions. My problem is I feel like I'm totally stone-faced whenever I'm recording. I actually have no idea what my face even looks like. Uh, when I'm recording, I barely watch... Ow. I barely even watch my recordings after the fact. Okay. So, not the best damage. There we go. I will have to be... A lot more careful. Because I don't want to take damage if I can avoid it. Okay. There we go. I lost the greed timer. That's fine. I'm trying to get these, like, three-hit combos here. Whoop! Whoop! That's the big one. Just roll away. Keep, just, just keep away. Oh, he's got a three hit combo of his own. Ow. I thought I was outside of range with that. I was not. Nope. Parrying is going to be an experience. There we go. Okay. They hurt. They hurt a little bit more than I was expecting they would. So fire charge attacks. Uh, let's see. Bows. Well, kills increase movement speed. Attacks from behind deal 30% more damage. Extra damage in darkness. Chance to do poison. Main weapon maze. Extra damage in darkness. Extra base damage per point of perception. Let's buy the forge hammer. That sounds good. I haven't tried a hammer yet, anyway. Okay. And... Might be a little slower? Hard to see. Oh, and it's only got a two-hit combo, so I can actually pull off the pistol blast a little bit more often. Okay, that's kind of exciting. And does critical damage against burning enemies, so I have to hit him with the torch first, but then I'll do bonus. Yeah. Also, thank you, Mini, mini G -day, GDJW, for the three-month resub. Wow, face cam. Not what I expected, but not bad. Yeah. I, uh, I'm going to be experimenting with it, whether or not it's uh, actually a good thing. But... I mean, I, I don't know. I've, I've talked about this the past couple days. But I've been having people yoink my footage. Ow. Damn it. Still getting used to this. Uh. But yeah, I've been having people yoink my footage. And I'm not super happy about that. And so... Especially for the more, like, indie games... Uh, let's see. So setting enemies on fire is a little harder than I want it to be. Barb shield. Reflects damage of parried attack back to the attacker. Okay, time to go mess with parrying, I guess. Yeah, switching between my torch and my my actual weapon is going to be kind of tough. Question, can I... No, I cannot break that. See, is this going to be a solo game or are they going to have co-op? I would not bet on co-op, to be honest with you. 
Co-op seems kind of anathemic to how this game operates. It's a very slow, very methodical action roguelike, and as such, like, I wouldn't expect co-op to really be in the cards. It'd be awesome with co-op, but I can't see that being particularly useful. I gotta remember to try parrying. Okay. Not the ranged hits, though. That would be silly. Alright, what do we got? Anything else? The answer is not really. Uh, let's see. So I don't have too much money. We could... Heals damage... 10% of critical damage also heals you. Increases max stamina by one, extra constitution. So these are decent relics. The extra constitution would be interesting. Which set me above the cr curse threshold, but that's not necessarily a bad idea. Because that would be a what? An extra... Actually, not sure how much extra health that would be. Let's do it. Oh, each point of constitution is only 50 health. I thought it was, I thought it was a different value. Whatever, we're going to be cursed as shit, but considering these adventures are fairly short, that shouldn't be a big deal. Volatile remains. I'm assuming enemies explode. Enemies killed while burning explode after a short while. I might be able to make that work. I am morally opposed to the the fact that the enemies teleport while on fire. I feel like setting enemies on fire should actually, like, almost counteract a lot of their special effects, considering how hard it is to actually switch between burning enemies and not. Like, it would be kind of rad if, like, for the teleporting enemies, setting them on fire would prevent them from... Um, ow. I've been rolling too much. Uh, setting them on fire would actually prevent them from uh, teleporting away. You might hear me give a lot of random feedback here. Uh, it's because I know the de devs are actually, like, occasionally watching these videos. And I'd very much like to, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. Hell yeah. Enjoy that. Oh, he's burning. This is good stuff. Wait, so burning doesn't even do damage to them? I feel cheated. Extra... Oh, gain 100% of damage taken in gold. Man, that would have been lovely to have earlier. I could have actually used that. That's fine. So extra damage, extra gold find. Damage and gold find. Uh... Let's just do this. Okay, that is that is perception. Cool. Was it this weapon that scaled up based on perception? I think it was. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Uh, let's see. So for those of you that are are just joining me on this and uh, didn't catch my my previous run. Uh, let's see. This is a early access roguelike. Honestly, I'm going to compare it to Hades, uh, but very mildly so. I know a lot of people on the uh, Steam forums were actually being like, this looks like a bad Hades clone, and it's like, not even close. Okay, avoid that. Give him the bomb. Okay, he's now on fire. Whoop. Okay, so he spins a little bit more than I was expecting he would. 
Finishers cost no stamina. No, not at the uh, not at the cost of damage. I I'm digging the I'm digging the mace. Now, there's a busted wall, but I can't get that. Do I have any? No. Okay, I think that was a perfect dodge. Could be wrong. Still have to try parrying here. I'm just, I'm not confident in my parrying ability. I'm confident in my dodging ability, but parrying always seems like it's going to be so much harder. And then I start doing it, and then I actually get good at it. But it's a matter of the getting good at it sort of thing is rough. It's third person has drawn design. Must be a Hades clone. I... The reductive nature of people trying to criticize game design is kind of really amusing to me. Because it, it's always a little disappointing to see, like, cool new interesting game comes out. Everybody's like, looks like a clone to me. And I'm like, oh, god damn it. This is actually, like, maybe a decent game. And they're like, nope, looks too much like Dead Cells. It's like, no. This is good. Ugh. Like, honestly, uh, seeing as we're going to talk about the topic a little bit, Curse of the Dead Gods is like a Souls-like, whereas Hades is very much like a spectacle fighter. Whoops. Okay. Well, that didn't work. I'm probably going to die to learn how to parry. But that's okay. Either that or I just never learn how to parry and I just keep attacking. And just stay away from shields. Could happen. But yeah. Hades is very much like a spectacle fighter. It's fast. You're zipping around. Extra damage against enemies. Lower than 50% health. Cool. Wait. Oh, it's a claw. Oh. That is... I like the idea of the claw, but I don't think I'm going to go for it. Ooh, that was hurt. Oh god, that was hurt. Right, you take double damage in the darkness. And I didn't have my torch out because I'm a damn fool. Okay. Well, he just missed. And maybe pairing is going to be difficult for me because of the lack of lock-on. What is this? Seeker's Mace, damage per level of relics carried. Interesting. So, relics are these things. So that would only be, like, what? 6% extra damage? It's not worth it. Okay, well, I'm not poor. So, offer gold. <laughs> Your favorite false equivalency is since mammals are hairy and produce milk, that means coconuts are mammals. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I like that. Uh, let's go for the relic. Relics have interesting things regardless. We're probably going to get cursed as hell, but that's that's fine. Uh, but yeah, so Hades is a spectacle fighter. This is a Souls-like. That's the... Well, I try to avoid it. Enjoy fireballs. Because this room sucked. Whew. Okay, crippling bow. Perfect shots, weaken foes. Sure. Let's try that. We also have a spear? Finishers weaken enemies. Okay. One, two, no. Okay. So the bow is its own thing. Let's try the spear, even if it's probably not very good for what I'm trying to do right now. I'm also so close to death. But that's fine. Okay. I will admit... 
This spear is freaking amazing. Like, damn. Okay, extra constitution. Uh, we can upgrade the golden mask, or we can get the glyph of blood. Gain plus one level on two-handed weapon. So extra dexterity. Extra. Let's go plus one level on two-handed weapon. Let's see how that goes. But, uh, yeah, apparently spears are damn good. So there's that. Anyway, I'm corrupted as shit. What are you? Is this anything? No. It looks like something. But I guess I can't interact with it. Okay, let's go for the unknown. Let's see if it's... If we're lucky, it's a blood fountain. I can curse the shit out of myself, and we'll go from there. Uh, hopefully, sometimes they heal me up. Fool's Bounty. Uh, opening chest now inflicts corruption. Gold chest now contain more gold. I'm down with this. Okay. I don't see a blood altar. But I do see a lot of cash. If only I healed on... If only I healed on money pickups. We would be so good. That's the extra constitution. I will take the extra health. Even if it is virtually useless to me in this given situation. But that's okay. Okay, so I can still block and parry potentially with this sort of thing. Damn it! I tried rolling away, it didn't work. I think you actually have to roll towards those guys. It's fine. So, I thought this game was actually going to be extremely short, but it's it's not. Uh, I, I should probably mention that. So unlike Hades, where you're just con constantly trying to make it further with every progressive run, this is actually one where there's different zones. So currently we're in Jaguar, and it looks like there might be a serpent area that we can go to as well. So yeah, we have the Eclipse of the Cursed Twins. And then there might be something interesting under the... Uh, the other section as well. Well, I've already got the two blessings I care for. So let's start pumping points into Divine Favor. Each favor allows you to refresh the choice of items in weapon or relic shrines. And the more of those we pick up, the more we'll be able to reroll and maybe get what we want. Yeah, Spear seems really good. I like that range. So I'm going to see if I can beeline for one uh, with this next run. Okay. Man, last episode I was... Uh, last first episode I was very much like... Oh man, so it took me half an hour to beat this, so it's gonna just be like half an hour episodes for here on out, and the answer is nope. I was incorrect. Mystery machine all the way. I I want I want that curse that turns every room into a mystery room and Good luck figuring it out from there. Okay, do not get hit by the darkness blasts. Woo! Okay. Got lucky. Got her. Damn it. Out of juice. Okay. Dang. Lost the green kill bonus. It's fine. We have to work on it. At least you don't have to worry about a stamina bar. I do actually. See those little pip pips below me? That is a stamina bar. Uh it's a little bit more forgiving than like the standard kind of like Dark Souls stamina, for example. Because you still have to um like, you don't have to wait for it to slowly fill back up. But it is definitely one of those where you can't just be like, okay. Okay. Enjoy that salvo, jerks! Got it. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, we're good. We get any healing that exceeds max health is turned into gold. 
Ooh. Okay, so some kind of lifesteal perk would be really nice right now. Because I could potentially get my HP back. So uh fill up of stamina bar in Dark Souls is only if you completely drain it, though. True, but like... It's still rough if you're not used to this sort of thing. This is a little bit more manageable because you can still attack. Uh, like, your regular attacks do not drain stamina. And that's actually really helpful. Let's go for the weapon first, and then I'll go for the money and the relics and some other stuff. Yeah, I like the fact that you can still use your main weapon with the empty stamina. And you can still run around. It's just uh, dodging and combos. Right. Just gotta get used to the fact. Okay, there we go. Nope, she's gone. Okay, avoid for a second. Yeah, since we got hit. Porch. Have fun with that. Sadly, it does not work as a damage over time effect. I was really assuming that setting things on fire would actually do madcap stuff to certain enemies, but it does not. Okay. <sighs> I must hit the orb. Takes that thing a little bit to charge up. Which I guess is kind of a bonus. Okay. So we got a weapon shrine. Weapon shrine has poison spear. Poison attacks 30% of extra... 30% uh, more damage in darkness. Uh, critical damage against burning enemies. It's okay. Okay, spear, spear's real good. Like, poison spear sounds amazing. You're not wrong. But anti-corruption pistol. We gotta get the anti-corruption pistol. Like, poison spear sounds amazing. We'll get, we'll get that at some point. But... Okay, please tell me I, I do have the right pistol equipped. No, I don't. I dropped the wrong one. I was like... That seems about right. Yeah, that's it. I had to make sure I wasn't going to wander off with the wrong weapon. But yeah, just damage them near to death and then finish them off. It only get me a little bit, but that means that I'm going to be able to utilize, potentially, uh, more curses along the way. Or... Eh, not really, because I still gain 20 curses every time I go through a door, but still. So, that have counteracted the curse from the last run. Uh, eh. It would have off offset it slightly. Okay. So, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm not exactly the best gunman. There we go. Pistol's not bad. Finishers deal critical damage. Yeah, I'm gonna grab it. We're gonna lose a little bit of bonus damage on the pistol, but we're gonna have alternate perks that are that'll like it'll offset. Maybe it'll offset. There we go. It'll offset a little bit. Okay, so what do we got in this? Because that's a spooky chest. Spooky chest has a malicious skewer. It deals critical damage against weakened enemies. Not really my thing. Not for this. Not today. It's not better than what I've got. 
Spear, I, I could have actually uh, saved myself the money gone for the spear, but nah. Okay, gold or a haven? I've never tried a haven before, but let's go for the gold. Unfortunately, we're going to have to pass through a weapon room. I should have paid attention to that. Let's see. 20 corruption per floor, minus 1 corruption per kill. Math does not work in our favor for curseless. But it will reduce the amount of curses that we're going to have to deal with. One thing is... Okay. So yeah, that went real bad. Getting hit at all by those guys is brutal. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta worry about traps. Yeah, traps are hidden in darkness. It makes sense. It makes sense, but it's brutal because you can't pull out your torch in combat. If I could actually have my torch as an offhand weapon, I think that would almost work better. There we go. Luckily, I can still use this pistol to great effect constantly, so I'm not too bothered. Extra healing effects. Kind of need that. Maybe I should have gone for the Haven after all. Uh, let's see. And yeah, there's nothing less left in here. Nope, to the Relic. To the I Have Been Corrupted. That's fine. Do I have any more drank? I do not have more drank. I have a smidge of water. Dark Swiftness. Dodging makes you intangible with an increased dodge window. Perfect dodges no longer regenerate stamina. That's fine. I've said this before. I absolutely adore the curse system in this game. Like, say what you want about... Say what you want about, like, Dead Cells and how, like, great of a game that is. It absolutely has some of the crappiest, whoops, crappiest curses I've seen in a game. Okay, so I can pretty much just two-shot. Anybody I want. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I just have to take it very slow and use a lot of ranged hits. And it'll actually be surprisingly okay. Uh, let's see. I think it's going to be a lightning round tonight. Yeah. We're going to be playing this at least for a little while. Uh, this game, this is... I've been waiting for another, like, good roguelike to really sink my teeth into for a long period of time. And this one absolutely qualifies. It's just too good. Okay, avoid for a second. There we go. Avoid, and we're good. Extra damage on poison attacks. I guess I'll take it. I'm pretty sure I can replace it. It's not a particularly amazing thing. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I can, I can two-shot as long as I get the perfect window. Which is a little harder than you think. Okay. Heal. Hmm. Man, it's like the game wanted me to go for spears. Had I gone for the poison spear, I would have... Damn it. Alright, whatever. That spear probably would have been a better idea. Uh, 
let's see. I guess I'll pick this one up. The extra three perception is kind of good. Okay, so we've already switched that out. Okay, and weapon. Which, if I do want to pick it up, I can go for curses. Which actually, honestly, wouldn't be that big of a deal. We've only got one curse. Shoot. There we go. He's dead. And one guy had a really quick response time to hitting me, which is not welcome. Okay, he's very much on fire. Everybody's very much on fire. Whoops. Fire. Okay, there's there's that down. So now we can deal with this guy. You spin to win, I spin too, jerk. Alright. So what do we get for a weapon? We get pistol pistol or Desperation Zbetlock's Scepter? It's something. Base damage increases by your percentage of missing HP. Extra 100% base damage. 100% damage taken. How much do I hate myself? Oh, it's a main weapon, too. I gotta. I'm assuming I'm super boned. But still. Okay, let's go for the unknown and hope for the best. We are corrupted again, but that's fine. Try to pronounce that name, I dare you. There you go, got it. Shadow flame, some braziers now burn with the dark flame and cannot be lit. Hmm. That's okay, I live in the darkness. Don't have much of a choice, honestly. Boy, oh, is it you? Nope, oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, got that. We get a buttload of gold. I see. So that's that's the darkness. Well, I have a shitload of cash. Problem is, I'm going to die well before I can actually make use of any of it. Eh, it doesn't matter. 100% more damage doesn't matter if you don't get hit. Problem is, I am an absolute damage magnet. It's gonna take like two hits to kill the shit out of me. But at least I know this guy's pattern. He's going to spit a dog out. And then I smack him around. I stab him back. Shit. Okay, his dog's dead. No! Shit! He was so close! 
The problem is, uh, one thing I don't like about that boss is, like, if you roll behind him, he just instantly turns around and can, like, zero in on you. I I feel like he should turn a little slowly uh, as a result, but, like, just don't stick close to him during that. I was definitely risking it, but 320 damage. Damn it. Eh, whatever. It's fine. I knew what I was doing there. Okay. So what are we looking at? Uh, awkward. I want a weapon, but I don't want him immediately. Let's go this way. Uh, up, weapon, money, money, question mark, question mark, and done. We'll figure it out. Hey, thank you, Crystalon, for the five gifted subs. How you doing? Also, thank you, Mockingjay Games, for the one rip. Thank. Oh, boy! I'm gonna just stand right here where there's slightly less than the standard amount of fire. Whoo, boy. Taking a break from home improvement for a while. I actually didn't know you were doing home improvement. That sounds exciting. Okay. I'm really digging the uh, the spin attack. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I can imagine some really fun, uh, some really fun combos to go with that. Okay. Boy, for a bit. Oh! Perfect dodges maintain your combo. That's nice. Enemy attacks deal less corruption. Not amazing, but I'll take what I can get. What do we get? We get a dagger. Secondary weapon. Uh, 3% base damage per point of perception. I'll take it. I Yeah, I can live without the pistol. One, two, three... Yeah, okay, that's interesting. It's like a dodge backward. I don't actually know if that's going to be that helpful, but still. So yeah, let's try the cross combo. Dig in the dagger. I really dig this dagger. Holy shit, look at this. I should have known that was there. All right, whatever. Stay away from it. Damn it. Avoid for a bit longer. Wow. That was a really poor maneuver. I was like, okay. I can just roll through them. The answer is no. Couldn't roll through them. That was dumb. Okay. Uh, let's see. Spear, poison attacks, extra damage against elites and bosses. Alternatively, main hand sword, f fire charge attacks, critical damage, base damage per perception. Uh, that's okay. So, we have a couple... Ooh, actually, no. We have one option. Wait, can I buy both of these? I actually don't know if I can. Let's see if I can buy two. 
Nope. I cannot buy two. Damn. Because I was really hoping I'd actually be able to um, buy the dagger as well. Because the shiv, having that heal, is actually really, really useful. Especially if I spec harden to health. But as we've seen with the spear, it's actually a pretty damn good weapon. Shit. It doesn't really seem like the, uh... Charge attack is particularly amazing. Yeah, the one problem is... I'm gonna be taking a lot of extra hits because I run out of stamina. And that's not great. But at the same time, that poison damage is super high. Like, way higher than I was expecting for that. Uh, let's see. Oh, and this is a chest. Any healing? That one's real good. But I almost never actually get to pull it off. Also, new weapon? Uh, sure. I mean, it's better than the machete I have. Uh, let's see, is this another roguelike? Always... Okay, not always. Most of the time. I love me some roguelikes. There's just something about them that are just really fun. Core gameplay loop comboed with um, type mechanics makes a huge difference as far as, like, playability for me. And so, yeah. I I don't know. I just... The genre... The genre very rarely disappoints. And if it does disappoint, it's so easy to just go play another one. So I don't actually care so much. Okay. I've, I've had a couple of roguelikes that I'm, I'm kind of tepid on here and there. But, like, even the kind of meh ones... I will play a decent chunk of. Oop. Okay. He do drops extra perception. It's not amazing, but I'll I'll take extra perception. Okay. Ow. Well, not the proudest. Oh, you can break... Well, yeah. I know you can break walls with cracks in them, but you can only do that with hammers. Unless I'm mistaken. Okay. Stay away from that. Don't touch my gold. But yeah, I'm, I am quite aware that you can break walls, walls with cracks in them. The main issue is just you need a very specific weapon to do so, and I do not have that specific weapon. Alright, so we are cursed, but that's fine. We also have gold. Machete light braziers. I think I might be able to. Volatile remains, so that's... Burning enemies explode, that's not a big deal. So, I like this spear. Oh, I did take damage. Dang. I 
I like this spear a lot. Ah, god damn it. Again. It's this specific room layout. There we go. It's every time I come through here, I just destroy myself. Uh, let's see. Restores max health when curses are lifted. Inch I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Anything else? Answer is no. Why would... Why would you come here and ask me if another YouTuber or streamer is here? It's, what? Alright, whatever. Uh, let's see. Can you fire machete light braziers? Yes! Oh, yes! Yes, I can. Oh, I'm on fire. Okay. Why would you suggest such a thing? Yeah, stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll only works when everything else isn't also on fire. Okay. There we go. That's a decent amount. Let's see, grab these things. So far, so good. Yeah, so this is a this is a wall that I can't break. Norm oh right. I have to actually set this on fire. Yeah, I wouldn't have normally be able to break that, but because I've got this spear, I can bust it up. That still reminds me of Hades somewhat. It's absolutely the camera angle more than anything else. Uh, it's very akin that and it's very hand drawn but like it's a little bit more cell shady there's other comparisons there we go enjoy that poison jerk ooh Charge attack steal crit damage. No, that's actually less. Not that I'm actually using my, my main weapon too much, but but still. Uh, let's see. So, extra damage to poison, poison attacks. Reduces the corruption of blood offerings. No, we gotta go for this. Offer gold. That's a good relic. So that should make my poison damage do even more. Unfortunately, I am near death, and healing is extremely hard to come by in this game. Now that's a bit rough. Enjoy the poison, jerk. Wow, that worked out well. Oop. Okay. No spikes around. Everything is good. Okay, so far so good. Nothing particularly heinous around here. Right. We good? We good. Okay, so... Poison damage is my jam now. Like, fire damage doesn't do jack biscuits to these guys. Uh, let's see. Let's grab that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, fire barely does anything to these guys. Poison? Poison messes them 
up. Let's see, this is relic. Base damage for bows. Uh, let's see, extra damage against weakened enemies. Extra... Crit damage. Do I want to pick this one up? I, I guess I might as well. Uh, we'll replace the perception one. I don't really do crit damage here, but I'll grab it anyway. Nope, we don't need that. Unless... No, no, no. Not really. See, does an enemy on fire work as a source of light? It does! So that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. We should play Kingdom Hearts at some point. I tried. It's just too long. I can't, I can't do big multi-part LPs. Okay, eat poison jerk what? Damn it. Yeah, I'm just taking too much damage in the uh in the early part of a run, so when I get to the boss fight he just wrecks me. Probably should start stopping at Havens, but Let's un yeah, that early roll is hurting you. The problem is it's actually really tight timing on, on the throw. Because, like, it goes gold, you're supposed to roll. The problem is, like, it goes gold and I might already be slightly rolling. It I'll get better at the timing, but it's, it's like a split-second window to actually avoid that one. Especially because he's got laser focus aim. And so, yeah, I'm going to get hit by that more often than not, at least for a while. Eventually I'll get used to timing it, but not right now.